As food demand grows, the world is constantly on the lookout for alternative sources of protein. That's why I'm getting suited up in this factory in Dole in eastern France. This is insect protein manufacturer Insect with a Y, and CEO Antoine Hubert is giving me a guided tour of the facility. So what problem are you solving here? What's wrong with the way we do farming at the moment? There is just not enough, not enough ingredients to feed the animals and to feed the animals of tomorrow with the growing demand. The second thing, we need to reduce climate change. And our solution is carbon negative. So we are even maybe the most efficient way to, uh, to produce proteins without carbon impact. The company's insect of choice is the mealworm beetle fed mainly with wheat bran over a 70-day life cycle. Some, uh, some, here we have larvae, here you have some insects, but they are almost ready to be processed. Insect uses a vertical farm which minimizes the amount of space needed. The automated system moves the trays of mealworms around the factory at various stages of the process. Some adults, here adults, adults bedules, that lay eggs, here. Eggs. In fact, the company has some 40 technology patents, and since it was founded in 2011, it's raised over $400 million, making it the most highly funded upstream agri-tech startup outside the US. A key market for insect is food for commercial fish farms. At present, due to health concerns related to BSE, or mad cow disease, EU legislation effectively limits the type of animals that can be fed with insect-based protein. But the company is confident the market will open up soon. It's, it's, it's a 72% of protein, so okay, it's super yeah. high. We sell to pet food manufacturers and fish feed manufacturers. Yeah. Tomorrow, hopefully, for poultry and pigs. Discussions are progressing well with the commissions. Yeah. And we hope next year to have uh, green lights. The company isn't short on ambition and is confident demand will grow. It's planning to build a new factory set to open in 2022 that can produce up to 100,000 tonnes of product per year and 15 factories by 2030. Currently, around 6,000 tonnes of insect protein are produced in Europe annually. Another French company in the insect farming business is Next Protein. Its headquarters and research lab are on the outskirts of Paris. Hi, Victor. Hi. Bonjour. Pleasure to meet you. Merci beaucoup. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to Next Protein. Thank you very much. Please, Thanks. come on in. Next Protein has been in operation since 2015. With its production facility in Tunisia, the company wants to tackle both resource scarcity in animal feed and the problem of food waste. 70% well, of uh, what Next Protein uh, uses as insect feed is actually fruits and vegetables. So that we're going to essentially end up in landfills and uh, for which there was absolutely no use. So taking something for which there was no use and recycling it into, the, uh, into our food system. The insect next protein has chosen to feed on that waste is the black soldier fly. Research scientist Heather Falkvist explains why. The larvae grow very rapidly. In three weeks they can increase in size by 10,000 times. The other reason we use this insect is uh, because it's very resilient and adaptable to different growing conditions as well. The ground up dried larvae next protein produces a 60 to 70% protein. It says that in 100 square meters of insect farm, it's able to produce as much protein as 100 hectares of soybean. In the lab, they're constantly working to tweak productivity and adaptability. This one is actually the, the whole insects that we ground up. Right. So these are full fat. Yeah. And uh, basically we're just uh, looking at the protein content uh, in these uh, whole dried insects. So you can have full fat and low fat insects. Exactly, is that what you're yeah. Saying? Well, yeah. So it's, it's basically, it's, yeah. it's adaptable yeah. for different uh, animal feed industries. Uh, if it's better adapted for their nutritional needs, then the less you have to use other additives. The black soldier fly market alone is predicted to be worth $2.57 billion by 2030, according to research and markets. That explains the recent launch of company Fly Genetics, created to breed improved black soldier flies. The most important criteria is the skill of the insect to convert uh, agriculture byproducts in premium insect protein. Uh, but we are working also on robustness of the insect, on the growth of the insect. 
Analysts at Barclays estimate the insect protein market could be worth about $8 billion by 2030, up from less than a billion dollars today. It's little wonder investment in a protein source that can be bred without taking out large amounts of food, land and water is growing so fast.